Yeah, this is why. But it's if expensive. you if you like, I've seen it represented there. There it is. Yeah. That's it. That's the no. whole. Yep. That's it. No way. Yep. That's it. Oh, it's wow. all the gold. So if you what we're seeing, folks, is a, a couple of large trucks and what looks like a half a football field of gold. Is that about right? About a half football field? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is about a half a football field full of gold. And it's stacked up about, looks like it's about five feet high. Wow. No, maybe a little higher. Maybe it's six feet higher. That's it. Yeah. It's all the gold. Yeah, which is why the price fluctuates. And sort of, but I don't get it. I don't yeah. even like it. <laughs> I'm not I don't like gold jewelry. Mm-hmm. It just I like silver. Silver looks prettier to me. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> I get it. I get it that pe- people like it. It's rare. Mm-hmm. And it's but it's it's weird that it's rare. N- not that it's rare, but it's weird that we care. Like it doesn't even do anything. It's not like you can make a weapon out of it. It's not like like how did that stuff ever become the thing that is universally regarded as the most valuable? In term, and was backed our currency forever until the 70s. Yeah. Like, think, what? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Why are we obsessed with that stupid soft metal? <laughs> Cause I mean, it's pretty. Because there's not a lot of it. I there's guess. a lot of shit that's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Why, you know, yeah, absolutely. How, you know, how come rubies aren't worth as much? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. maybe they are. I don't know. But like, there's a lot of stuff that's pretty. Yeah. Why is that stuff the the thing that everybody wants to trade? Yeah, and diamonds as well is another one that I don't quite get. But... Yeah, diamonds are really weird mm-hmm. because diamonds they can make now. Yeah, but women don't want the made ones. Isn't that crazy? It is, but you can barely tell apparently the difference. So, uh, how can you tell? Yeah, who? What kind of psycho? And, and why do you, why do you care? Yeah, right? are you going over your diamond with a yeah. magnifying glass yeah. before you decide whether or not it's worthy of you wearing it? Like. What is what's happening here? Yeah, agreed. It's a rarity thing, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, it's also it's like there's something sick about it. Mm-hmm. Like you want the ones that are created by the earth only that people had to risk their life to get. Not mm-hmm. like some really fascinating piece of innovation that has allowed them. To, I mean, they can make right. large diamonds now. Yeah, and they look exactly <laughs> like the real ones. Like. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> I know. It's fake. So it's, it's not even fake. It's a real diamond. Yeah. But right. it's a diamond that's made by humans. But do you think women really don't? I haven't heard like people really say I don't want this because it's not. Oh yeah, I've had a conversation hmm. with somebody who said yeah, that. Yeah, Mrs. Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to criticize your wife. <laughs> she, I mean, she's not. She, she's just like I'd rather have a real one. I'm like that is a real one. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I'm like, help me out. Just it wasn't an argument or anything. But I'm like, I don't get it. I don't. Why is that? I don't either. You know, we had a, when I was, one of the first stories I did with my husband back in the day when we were still traveling and reporting together was actually in the Brazilian Amazon. And it was about this, one of the biggest diamond mines they've ever found. And it was on Indian land and um, white miners came in and the Indians decided to revolt and killed and tortured and cut off the penises of 30 of them. And, you know, they killed 30 people, massacred and tortured lots of them. Um, and it was horrible. And we went there and started investigating this. And we weren't married. He was my boyfriend at the time. We were planning on getting married. But we had we were in these little tiny, you know, Wild West towns in the Amazon. And the amount of people that we had come up to us and actually with little paper bags, like f- rolled paper with little diamonds on the side, asking us if we wanted to buy it for nothing, like close wow. to nothing. We thought about it, but we didn't. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem like you should. Yeah. No. <laughs> No. Maybe if you found one. Yeah. But just well, we, yeah. we actually went to the mines, and I remember that's what happens. We went to gold mines in the Amazon as well for another story. Is that when you're in these places, you're you can't stop looking at the ground to see if any chance you find anything. But obviously, yeah. yeah. How uh, difficult is it for them to find diamonds? Because that's the thing about the De Beers. They're yeah. so smart with what they've mm-hmm. done. They basically have warehouses filled with diamonds. I know. And they've elevated the price to pretend that they're rare. But they're not really rare anymore mm-hmm. because of their mining abilities. The, right. the, the technology has increased. The, right. They control the price that yeah, way. Yeah. Right. It's pretty smart. Very smart. Yeah. It's difficult to find a mine, uh, diamond. It's really difficult. I mean, there's a lot of backbreaking work. We went to Sierra Leone and did a, another story about that, too. It's backbreaking work. It's not, not easy. And they make nothing. You know, the miners make nothing. Yeah, that's where it's really creepy. Yeah. Well, that's why they revolted. So yeah. So pay those guys better. Well, yeah. Wouldn't have lost your penis. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> 
But that's um, also the story of cell phones, right? I mean, yeah, the rare Siddharth Kara the, was on, yeah. and he discussed uh, his mm-hmm. work in the Congo, where they were mm-hmm. investigating these cobalt mines. And in yeah. everyone's cell phone is a piece of cobalt, yeah. and there's a very high likelihood that it was pulled out of one of these artesian mines by yeah. people who are working for basically slave wages. They're mm-hmm. women with babies on their backs mm-hmm. while they're doing it. They're they're hand digging this stuff, so you're you're inhaling these toxic fumes from this mm-hmm. cobalt. Yeah, that's... And it, it's, it's, it's so... I mean, I want to say that look, we, we're capable of better, but what we are as a species, that is like one of the best indicators of how twisted we are. That the very height of technology that is carried by all these social justice warriors and all these virtue signaling people online, you're literally doing it from a device that's made by slaves. Yeah. At the root of it is mm-hmm. slave labor. Right. And it's unavoidable. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But the same people that would probably never buy a diamond ring, right? Yeah. Because, or, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just weird. It's just weird that, that we know that that mm-hmm. is where the stuff comes from. Right. Well, it's also weird that we don't even manufacture a single cell phone in America with all parts sourced and put together in America. That's mm-hmm. totally possible yeah. that you could buy a phone that is completely ethical, that's pay, made by people that were paid a, a fair wage, mm-hmm. and they you know work normal hours and they have great health care and all that stuff. That's, that's possible. Mm-hmm. And you would think that a device that is literally owned by every single human – there are more cell phones in this country than there are human beings. Oh, wow. And yet, no. We don't make a single one over here. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's more cheaper. Expensive, exactly. It's cheaper. Yeah. I mean, even places like China where they make the cell phones, where they have the Foxconn mm-hmm. factory that's covered with nets – to keep people from jumping off the roof because mm-hmm. so many people are committing suicide because their life sucks so hard that instead of fixing mm-hmm. their life, they just put nets up. That's insane. Have you ever seen that? No, the Foxconn building? No. It's so dystopian. Really? They have yeah. nets at the bottom of the building? All around the building. Oh, All around the outside edge of the building to keep people from jumping. That's crazy. <clears throat> That is insane. I've tried to go to China so many times to report on it's almost impossible to get in. Yeah, they know you. That lady's not coming in. (laughs) She's not coming in. (laughs) That lady spills the beans. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Congo is really interesting. We were there for an ape story. Um, And, you know, one of the things that happened with the rare earth uh, minerals and all of that is that the U.S. used to control a lot of those mines. And then China, they sold them to China. Oops. And now a lot of the stuff we need for the future is in the hands of China. It's oh, so stupid. That's very American. Yeah, 